Over the past decade, I've transitioned from WordPress to no code, specializing in Webflow, where I've spent the last five years honing my skills. My journey took me from agency work to freelancing, and now I run Hilvi, a Webflow agency. Today, I'm here to share my thoughts on how you can become a Webflow developer. Is the Webflow market too crowded? Not for developers who are good at what they do. Webflow is popular because it makes building good looking lively websites easy. This is why many businesses choose it over and over. There is a lot of need for developers who can make creative and top quality websites. To stand out, you might want to focus on one special area in Webflow, interactions and motion. Master animations to make websites lively. For example, on a sports shop website, make the basketball images bounce as a user scroll. This makes the site fun and can keep users interested. Spline and 3D. Picture a tech company's homepage with a 3D model of a new gadget that users can rotate. This makes the website more exciting and draws in more visitors. Design systems and reusable components. Create parts of a website that you can use over and over, like buttons or headers. This is especially useful for companies with many products. It saves time and keeps the look of the website consistent. Custom JavaScript. Use custom JavaScript to add special features that Webflow does not have. For instance, a real estate site could use a custom map that shows all available properties in different areas. This makes the site more useful for visitors. Steps to excel as a Webflow developer. Becoming a top Webflow developer requires a blend of coding, design, and problem solving skills. Here's how you can develop each area with practical tools and methods. Technical skills. Understanding HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is crucial. Even though Webflow automates coding, knowing these languages lets you extend what Webflow can do. For example, you can add unique JavaScript to create a special interaction. It's also useful to learn tools like Figma, which can help you better design uh, before you start building a Webflow. Understanding how to use components, props, and variants in Figma can translate well when you create reusable components in Webflow. Design sense. Good design is vital in Webflow because it's such a visual platform. You should know how to arrange content, choose colors, and pick fonts that make uh, sites attractive and easy to use. Learning design principles through courses or platforms like Figma can really help you. Pay attention to the way successful Webflow sites are designed to understand what users find appealing and also functional. Performance expert. A fast loading website keeps users happy and ranks better in search results. Learn how to optimize Webflow sites by minimizing image sizes, using content delivery networks, and reducing the number and size of scripts and code your site uses. Tools that can audit site performance can guide you on what to tweak for a better speed. Every project comes with challenges, so you need to be a problem solver. Whether it's integrating a complex API or fixing layout issues, Enhancing your problem solving skills by using resources like GPT or AI can help you troubleshoot and find solutions quickly. Participating in forums, using Twitter to connect with other developers and asking for help can also be very effective. Learning from others about how they solve problems can provide you with shortcuts and also help you discover new ideas. Career pathways, freelancing versus employment. Choosing whether to freelance or take a full-time job is a major decision for any Webflow developer. Here's how you can approach each option and what you might need to succeed. Freelancing gives you the freedom to pick projects that excite you and set your own hours. It's perfect for those who like to control every aspect of their work from choosing clients to managing project timelines. However, being successful as a freelancer requires more than just technical skills. You need strong discipline, uh, you need to be able to keep yourself on track and also be business savvy to manage your finances, market your services and negotiate contracts. Build a strong portfolio. Showcase your best work to attract clients. Use platforms like Behance or your own professional website. Use social media and industry conferences and join online communities to connect with uh, potential clients and also other fellow freelancers. Understanding basic business and financial management can help you run your freelance career more effectively. Tools like QuickBooks or FreshBooks can assist you in handling your accounts. Personally, I use Ember because I do not like to do anything related to numbers too much and they help me solve everything. Full-time position offers stability with regular salary and benefits. 
You work within a team which can help you learn faster and take on more diverse projects. This path is suited to those who thrive in structured environments and prefer a steady workflow. Enhance your CV. Tailor your CV to highlight skills and projects relevant to the type of customers you want to work for. Prepare for interviews. Brush up on technical questions and behavioral interview questions. Practice explaining your design and development process. I can't stress this one enough. If you pretend, they'll see right through you. Stay informed about industry trends. Keeping up to date with the latest in Webflow and web development can make you a more competitive candidate and a valuable team member. Consider company culture. When looking for jobs, consider the company culture and whether it aligns with your work style and your career goals. Tools like Glassdoor can provide insights into company reviews and what you can expect. Whether you choose freelancing or a full-time job, both paths require dedication to continuous learning and improvement. Decide based on your personal preferences, lifestyle needs and long-term career goals. Remember that becoming great at Webflow means learning continuously and adapting to new challenges. Whether you specialize in design, animations or custom coding, each skill opens new doors. You can work as a freelancer and enjoy picking your projects, or you can join a team and learn faster with others. Just focus on improving your skills. Stay curious and connect with other developers to share ideas and solutions. Your journey in Webflow can lead to many exciting opportunities if you're dedicated and proactive. I've been doing this for five years and I don't have any signs of slowing down. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell for more tips. Or if you have any questions, comment below and we can have a conversation.